What happens if my timing belt breaks? Welcome to Mercy J, where compassion and craftsmanship come together. I'm Rick Smith, Master Certified Technician. So inside your engine you have pistons, and they're basically kind of a little cylinder like this, and they move up and down. And you have valves in your head that open and close. Now what the timing belt does is it controls the timing of where the piston's at. So if the piston's coming down, it opens, and then it closes, and, and it controls that timing. So if the timing belt breaks, what can happen is now a valve stays open, and the piston comes up and down. Now if your engine's designed for clearance, the only thing that you're going to experience is you're dead on the side of the road, and you've got to get the car towed. If, it's, if your engine doesn't have clearance, it's kind of a bad day because what will happen is the piston will come up, it will strike the valve. The valve looks a little bit like a golf tee upside down. And if it does that, it can break or bend the valve and now you're talking major engine repair. So it's wise to replace your timing belt at typically about 90,000 mile intervals. So I hope this has been informational to you and until next time, safe travels and blessings to you.